I'm Chad Williams, and today we're going to talk about how you can select a column in a matrix using column names. In a past video, I showed you how to select different columns in a matrix dependent on their index, which is just their physical location. So if you put one, you're going to get the first column, for example, and I'll link that as well. But in honesty, more often in R, what people are going to do is select it based on column names. So let's do that right now. So first, let's make some data. So I'm going to go data equals data.frame. Then I'm going to add a column name. Let's just say my underscore column equals, and I'm just going to put some numbers in here just so we have something in there. And then we're going to add a second underscore column um, with other numbers as well. Now, if I run that, what we get is our data frame over here. If I click it, we see that these numbers are my column and these numbers are our second column. Now, it's really easy to select one or two of these uh, different columns. And all you have to do is data, dollar sign, and then choose the column. You can write it in, but you can also choose it. Now, if I just run that, what we're doing is we're just going to see the numbers in that first column. So my column has one, two, three, four, five. And what we see is yes, it does actually have one, two, three, four, five. Now, of course I could do the second column. I go in second column. And then if I run that, now I'm getting four, five, three, two, one, which we see here as four, five, three, two, one. We're gonna stop there because this is really just a follow up to the other video that I linked earlier, um, showing a different way of doing it. So you can use either way. Um, and now you know both. 